Marks a new push over the placement of a sexually violent predator. Comes just days after the owners of a house in Rancho Bernardo backed out of their agreement to house sex offender Douglas Badger. News 8's Allison Royal is live outside the county administration building with the new proposal that's up for debate here. Good morning, Allison. Hey, good morning, Eric. So that's exactly what we're talking about here. Supervisor Jim Desmond wants more local control when it comes to these sexually violent predators and where they end up living. Now, he wants that local control, but he's not the only one. There are also some community groups that have voiced their support for this measure. You look at this like Douglas Badger, who had admitted, I know he wasn't convicted, but he admitted to torturing and raping over 500 boys and men. I mean, how is this man even out of, out of the system? Well, that's Douglas Badger that we were talking about just there, and he's one of those cases that we've covered pretty extensively on News 8. A lot of community members weighed in on his placement. But I want to give you a little bit of background here. A sexually violent predator is a person that has been convicted of a sexually violent crime and also has a mental illness. It is a question a lot of us wrestle with. What is the safest place for everyone for a sexually violent predator to live after they've served their sentence? The California Department of State Hospitals and the for-profit Liberty Healthcare say it is up to the courts to decide if SVPs will be placed in conditional release programs and where that person ultimately will end up living. Desmond wants local neighborhoods to have a say in this placement process, including full veto authority. So that's a little interesting thing there. We'll see how that pans out. Desmond says right now there are five sexually violent predators in San Diego County, and at least three more are awaiting placement hearings. Oftentimes, community members will express concerns about these SVPs living in neighborhoods close to schools, bus stops, or vulnerable people, maybe near senior centers. Usually in these kinds of situations, a lot of people will call in or write the judge to express their different questions, concerns, comments, right? So back out here live at the county administration building. There's going to be a county board of supervisors meeting just a little few while away at nine o'clock this morning, and they're going to discuss a number of different things, and that also includes Desmond's proposal about these sexually violent predators. I'm going to send it back to you too.